After a time capsule was removed from the Pennington County Courthouse last year, the idea to place another began to form. Today, that idea became reality when the 2022 capsule took the place of the 1922 capsule. A Cody Dennis attended the placement ceremony and has more on the significance of leaving future artifacts. The capsule sealed Thursday will stay closed until a century has passed, the same amount of time the first one stayed sealed. Senator Helene Duhamel's ancestors placed the original capsule 100 years ago, and now she's helping to ensure the tradition continues. She says items left in the 2022 capsule will hopefully give people in the future an idea of what life was like today. Over the past year, people donated small items for this time capsule to be opened 100 years from now. Items representative of the people, cultures, and communities that make Pennington County what it is today. In a placement ceremony Thursday, Judge Craig Feifel touched on the importance of having a time capsule, saying the things that are added help future generations see a snapshot of the past. It really speaks to sort of where we were at as a community and who, uh, who we were at that particular time. And we hope that the placement of this particular time capsule speaks in the same way to those that open it 100 years from now. In keeping with tradition of the first capsule, one item included will be the same in more ways than one. This time capsule will also include that big photo that we took a year ago on the courthouse steps in the exact location of the original 1922. To a photo. Other items include a credit card, a COVID-19 test, and a photo of the 2022 Rapid City Council. Although most of us will not see this capsule open back up, Duhamel hopes it will be as special to future generations as the 1922 capsule was for this one. Reporting in Rapid City, I'm Cody Dennis.